The S&P 500 and Nasdaq tumbled to close lower on Tuesday, weighed down by shares of chip and mega cap companies ahead of big tech earnings this week. The Dow gained half a percent, the S&P lost the same amount, and the Nasdaq shed about 1.3 percent. Shares of Microsoft, down less than 1 percent at the close, tumbled 6 percent in after-hours trading due to weaker-than-expected revenue growth in its Azure cloud business. That business is best positioned to benefit from AI. Chipmaker NVIDIA, poster child for the promise of AI growth, closed down 7 percent. Earnings from Apple, Amazon, and Meta platforms are also due this week. Among consumer staples, Procter & Gamble tumbled more than 4.5 percent after missing fourth-quarter sales expectations. Sarah Henry, managing director and portfolio manager at Logan Capital Management, said that despite trying to lower prices, P&G is among those companies that face an increasingly cost-conscious consumer. Procter & Gamble really stood out here because they're a bellwether and they missed on organic growth. And what these companies are navigating is the transition from many, many rounds of pricing taken to overcome inflation over the last year. And they're trying to find levers for continued growth. And in some cases, consumers are kind of saying, I'm out. Shares of Merck plunged more than 9.5% after the drug maker cut its annual profit forecast. CrowdStrike also dropped more than 9.5 percent after a report that Delta Airlines sought compensation from the cybersecurity firm and Microsoft for the carrier's global cyber outage earlier this month. And the small-cap Russell 2000 index gained modestly, extending a recent rotation out of more expensive stocks as the market has solidified expectations the Federal Reserve will begin cutting interest rates in September. Investors will look for further indications of Fed policy at the conclusion of the central bank's two-day policy meeting on Wednesday.